As soon as I got here, I started playing this game. Uh, it's called Amish or Hipster. <laughs> as soon as I got to Austin, I was like, holy shit, there's fucking Amish people everywhere, man. Like, I didn't know Amish people dug South by so much. Like, I haven't seen them the last couple years. And then I was like, oh shit. They're just hipsters. They're just fucking mad hip. Wow. It's hip to be. Who would have thought? Amish, who would have thought? Who would have thought Amish would have come and like the '80s thing came and it's kind of dying out now. Now it's like Amish. Maybe people came around to like to Kingpin. Yeah, maybe you know that what? was the, the that maybe was, that was the key. Was By the way, awesome. you've we, you've picked up this interview kind of in mid form. This is I'm Peter. And I'm, this a, is, I'm Anthony. And, and uh, Anthony is also in a band called Circus Survive. I am Circus Survive. And uh, he is here in South by Tell us, so you have a solo record that's is it, it's basically done. It's done. Sort of done, mostly done. It's like 95% done. I'm just going to add a couple bells, a couple things to it. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I saw, I caught your set yesterday, and the end of the set you played a song. Was it was that a circus song you played at the end? At the end? No, that was a, that was a solo song. And that's, how did everyone knew the words? I don't know. It, it's I, I have no idea how I've written. That song's never been released. Uh, like, there's uh, like versions of it floating around on the internet, so I guess I got lucky. How does that make you feel when you play a song that hasn't been released, that's on a record, that hasn't come out yet, and like 20 people get up on stage and start singing with you? Extremely grateful. Yeah. Like overwhelmingly grateful. Yeah. Now, have you gotten, uh, you're, you're playing guitar and performing with a couple guys who are from... Uh, they're, they haven't, they're calling themselves Castles right now, but they might change their name. They used to be in a band called Days Away. It's the drummer and the singer from Days Away and the guitar player uh, from this band from Philly called Unlikely Cowboy. His name's Dan. And they have their own band that they've been, they've been playing like shows for the last like year, I guess. And uh, like uh, when I was doing this shit, we started jamming together and it was like, they were on the shows I did over the holidays. And uh, it was just like, we should just do this together all the time. Mm -hmm. Sort of like a... Like a Bob Dylan and the band thing, except for I'm not Bob Dylan, they're not the band. <laughs> I, but especially because I am not Bob Dylan. <laughs> uh, you know, you got a ways to go. But um, no offense. A but long, long, long ways. <laughs> now, as Colin from your band was on the side stage yesterday, keeping yeah. you company. How is the rest of the band, you know, taking you know the solo project or this? What, what's their take on it? Well, you know, it's not really like a solo thing. Like everything I do, I'm doing for Circa. Like I'm only really doing this because we have time off. You know what I mean? Like I, Colin was at all these shows and he was singing along. Like everybody in the band is so supportive, like of each other. You know, whatever whatever each other wants to do, we support each other. You know, to be happy. And this is this is by no means me like distancing myself from Circa at all like this is just like me getting my like my folk kicks out you know right very cool now what and when you work on the solo stuff what are some of the the main influences like when you the records that you're or artists that you love that have influenced this what you're doing on the solo side uh Paul Simon like Paul Simon Simon and Garfunkel just incredible um a lot of James Taylor like I grew up listening to James Taylor and Crosby Stills and Nash and like you know and Bob Dylan obviously like Blonde on Blonde and like Highway 61 Revisited, like fucking, I've been listening to them for like the last like year straight and it's just, it's just like the most inspiring shit ever to hear people just being honest in their music and like, you know, uh, any performer that can go up and just like play, you know, wherever they are, it's, it's inspiring to me, you know, it's why it's so cool being at South By, it's because you just see tons of people on the street corners and bars and showcases and they are all throw and go it's all fucked up sound it's all you know like really last minute like but it's all really awesome very cool now when can people expect to uh, have the record in their possession if they choose to pay for it obviously <laughs> if they choose to pay for it which I could give a shit about <laughs> uh, it comes out in August but uh, I mean, get it however you fucking want to get it. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, as far as touring, Circa plans, what's going on for the next couple months? Uh, we're gonna we're going out with Thrice and Pelican, which is like the coolest tour we have been able to be on in the last couple of years, and uh, the some of the they're the coolest bands we've been able to tour with in a while. And uh, after that, you know, we, we're gonna try to go to the UK possibly. Uh, we're gonna we're really like psyched about recording a new record as soon as we can. So we're we're working on that really hardcore. Excellent. Cool. Well, thank you for stopping by. A pleasure Thanks as always. Me.